But the ant trap method is very efficient for producing ant eggs. So filming this video, I literally, like, during the build process, I literally filled two acorn chests with ant eggs. What up, Tiny Pirate Gaming? And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can build an ant trap so that you can farm ant eggs really easy and really fast with a simple ant trap. Now, there's a lot of ant trap videos out there. There's a lot of grounded YouTubers and grounded streamers who have showed people how to build ant traps, but I just want to show you how to build one that's real simple, real quick, real easy. And it's, it, will, it will allow you to start farming ant eggs really quick, like even with just one of these little things. But anyway, let's get into it. So there's two options to get the ant eggs to spawn really fast and to sort of, sort of help with the lag around the westerly ant hill. The first option is ladybug armor and mint mallet. You go down in there and you clear the ant hill and then every few in-game days you go and you do that and then you go grab the ant eggs on the next day because they should be spawning in there if you've cleared it out. The other way is to automate this process by building an ant trap outside of the ant colony to hopefully kill the ants for you. That's, that's the goal of this. Now the recipes you'll need to be able to build this simple ant trap will be the foundation of your choosing. I chose the Pebblet Foundation for mine because I'm a big fan of the Pebblet Foundation. And that requires three clay and one Pebblet. You also need the spike strip, which will require three weed stems, three thistle needles, one sap and two crude rope in order to build one spike strip but you're going to need to build a lot of them so you're going to need a lot of these materials as you can see i built a whole shed to hold the materials that i would need to build my ant trap then you'll also need to be able to build a lure trap which is four flower petals and four sprigs consider like i mentioned consider gathering these resources the necessary resources for the construction and putting them into a construction shed prior to building this makes the actual construction a lot quicker just you know makes it a lot easier so the first step in building your ant trap will be to clear the ant area to reduce the lag otherwise it's just going to give you a headache it's going to be a nightmare and you also want to wear your ant armor so that the ants don't become aggressive towards you they'll think you're just an ant and they won't mind that you're building all this stuff around their ant hill. so you got to clear it first you wear your ladybug armor your mint mallet and you go down into the ant hill and you clear it out then you run back out you go switch over to your ant armor and then you go back over there and you start building. So first you wanna lay out your trap design. It doesn't have to be the same as mine. I'm just doing a real simple one. You can make extremely complex. It's builder's choice. Builder's choice, I've seen players do simple ones like I'm doing. I've seen players build extravagant prison for the ants. And I'm not gonna do all that because I, sometimes they glitch out and they phase out and they spawn on the outside. It's weird, the ants are weird. There's issue with the ants right now. That's why people are even having to build these what I call Lowry ant traps because the first person who popularized this method was the Mike Lowry show on YouTube or at least that was the first place I saw it popularized anyway the next step is you lay it out however you can I put mine very simply right outside where the ant hill comes out so that as many ants that are coming out will get you know killed by the by the spike strips they'll be they'll go towards the lure trap and they'll get they'll get caught up on the spike strips but you still want to leave a way for you to get down into the anthill so you don't want to seal it off completely because you the player need to be able to get down in there to grab the ant eggs and if you harvest quartzite that's where i harvest my quartzite is from the anthill so i like to go down in there so make sure you leave a space for yourself to get in there once you've laid out your blueprints you want to lay you want to fill them in with the resources very strategically what i like to do is i like to lie in the spike strip area first before i even activate the lure trap so that by the time I activate the lure trap, the spike strips are already there, so the ants immediately begin, you know, impaling themselves on the spike strips. And, you know, be careful when you are placing the spike strips because they will hurt you too. So watch your step, you know, just like my ending line. 
Watch your step, otherwise you'll impale your foot on the, on the spike strip. Don't do that. But anyway, as you can see, I built it. I ended up building a few of these ant traps all around the place. I built three, and then built a little wall, and I was just goofing around with different designs and different build projects to see how, how much you can confine the ants without building something too extravagant. It's supposed to be real simple, and that's what I built. And here's a view of it from the top of my tower, from the top of Tiny Pirate Gaming Tower. But it is extremely effective. The ant traps are extremely effective. The ants die continuously very fast. They, they just run out there and impale themselves over and over and over again. It's crazy. But then, after enough ants have died, you can go down into the ant hill and check the chambers. And there's usually tons of ant eggs. I usually have to make two trips to gather all the ant eggs when I do harvest. Now, you do have to go over there a lot to harvest still because otherwise it will get ridiculously laggy. Just fair warning. But the ant trap method is very efficient for producing ant eggs. So filming this video, I literally, like during the build process, I literally filled two acorn chests with ant eggs. So that's how effective this is. And it was made popular, as I mentioned, by the Mike Lowry Show. He's another grounded YouTuber. Check out his videos on Grounded. The link is down in the description. P.S. You know, postscript. This is something that I literally wrote the script up for this or the, or the talking points for this video. And then I discovered this afterwards. So I'm just adding this in here at the end. And that is, while I was streaming the other night, I discovered that the ants who somehow spawn or phase outside of the ant hill. When they go out to gather the food, the Billy Hogs hot dogs or the Oreo cookies or whatever else they're gathering, when they bring it back to the anthill, since I blocked it off with the traps, sometimes they don't want to impale themselves. They will go around to the backside of the anthill and try to phase through the ground. I believe this is where the bottom chamber is where they usually drop the food. It looks like they're trying to phase down into there because they're all carrying the thing in their mouth. They're all carrying this food in their mouth. So uh, I also built a trap back here. I built an ant trap back here to get these ones that return to the anthill with the food when they return to the anthill. But anyway, that's it for the video. I hope this ant trap design you know, inspires you that you don't have to build these big extravagant ant traps because even if you do, the, the ants are so glitchy right now, they're going to they're gonna get through it. No matter what, no matter what you do, the ants will get will get out of there. Okay, they will find a way to get out of there, and then and then the issues will persist no matter what you do. But this is a good method to farm ant eggs. It's an excellent method to farm ant eggs, and if it helped you out, you can help me out by smashing that like button. It would really do me a huge favor. I really appreciate it. And if you want to see more grounded related, grounded themed, grounded content, tutorials, tips and tricks, discussion videos, uh. All that sort of stuff, well, consider subscribing to the channel. I hope this video earned your subscription today. And if you ever want to come hang out with me live when I stream and play some Grounded, well, you can you can also follow me on twitch.tv slash pirate, you know, tiny pirate gaming. And if you want to know when I announce, you know, if you don't want to follow me there, but you want to get notified when I'm going to go, go live, well, you should follow me at Twitter because that's where I announce it. I announce it on my Twitter page when I'm going to do a live stream until I figure out how to fit a set schedule into my already existing schedule. I'll be working on that. But anyway, thank you again so much for watching, and until next time... Arg, matey. Watch your step. There be a tiny pirate here.